Everyday activities require energy. Humans, like all living organisms, need to fuel their actions, similar to the way a car requires fuel to run. To fuel all this physical work, our bodies break down food molecules and extract their energy. We rely on this process, called cellular respiration, to run smoothly so that we'll have the energy needed to exert ourselves or just relax. In cellular respiration, plants, animals, and all other living organisms harvest energy by breaking down energy-rich molecules. In this example, a bison ingests grass, digests the food, and delivers food molecules to cells of its body. As energy is released by the reactions of cellular respiration, cells capture and store the energy in the bonds of ATP molecules, the chief energy currency of the cell. This plentiful, readily available stored energy in ATP can then be used as needed to fuel the activities of the organism. Cellular respiration requires oxygen, which the animal inhales, and releases carbon dioxide, which the animal exhales. Water is also released during these reactions. Cellular respiration is a bit like photosynthesis in reverse. Note that in photosynthesis, Oxygen and sugar are products of the reaction, while they are inputs in cellular respiration. In cellular respiration, carbon dioxide and water are products of the reaction, while in photosynthesis, they are inputs. In photosynthesis, the sun provides the energy to power the reactions, while in cellular respiration, the released energy is stored in the bonds of ATP. Cellular respiration occurs in three basic steps glycolysis, the citric acid cycle, and the electron transport chain. During these processes, food molecules such as glucose are gradually broken down and their energy is used to produce ATP.